We live? We are live. Yep. <clears throat> it's funny, I never thought I would really, like, go back to hooking up to my GameCube as it currently is, since I've sold off, like, half the physical games I own, and, like, any other game I would normally play for the GameCube, I would just load off the Wii. But, I mean, I still t have a copy of Mario Sunshine. I still haven't gotten that sold along with some of the other, I guess, more common GameCube games, as it were. So, yeah, I, I figured, you know, just for extra authenticity's sake, playing it on an actual GameCube with actual S-Video cables. Let's go. Just let these... Yeah, just let this game's whole story play. Oh man, this game. It's funny how like I think I think this uh, this obviously would seem evident like for people like wa uh, watching like the stream feed itself, but even for me like playing this off the CRT as well. It's funny to like uh, to see how now, like, the things that uh, that you normally would not have noticed until you, like, saw the game output it, like, over a digital video source. When you put that on a high qual- a relatively high quality CRT from, like, you know, the 2000s, something like this one. Yeah, you find out very quickly that analog or digital, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna cover up the fact that, like, these are clearly pre-rendered videos, and you can see the macro blocking when you look close enough. Playing this on even older composite-only TVs back in the day really did a lot to, like, make people's imaginations cover up the fact that, like, these TVs were trying to hide a lot of deficits by just being, like, extra shitty picture-wise. <laughs> okay, but here we are. The often unfairly maligned Super Mario Sunshine. I still wouldn't put it as like the best of the games, you know? It's not better than both Galaxy Games or Odyssey or 64. Well... Oh, well, you no, know, like I'd still put like... The, like yeah, this is still a game that like overall I would be... I would very clearly rates as being, like, near the bottom. But even then, that bottom area is still high above a bunch of other 3D platformers, and it's also still better than Super Mario 3D Land. <laughs> because I'd rather take what this game does in terms of bullshit over what 3D Land does in terms of just being so pedestrian. All right. Ah. <sighs> what happened? Also, still a bit weird. <coughs> Excuse me, just how uh, like in the days leading up to this, when I finally decided, yeah, you know, next game I'm gonna play is gonna be Sunshine. Gonna hook up the GameCube because I can just reuse the S video cables between N64 and this. Um. Had to get used to having to watch these cutscenes repeatedly when doing test runs. And the fact that Nintendo, like, just balked at the idea of allowing you to skip these things. Like, come on. I am most concerned with the well -being of the princess but whatever, this is a stream. People will probably want to watch this either live or, like, the VODs afterwards. Like, there are probably some sick freaks out there that want me to just let the cutscenes play and have to experience them. Because given the choice... I would skip them and just, like, speed things up so that I keep focusing on, you know, the part that's good, which is the core gameplay. Because this is a very good platformer. Pay no attention to what people tell you about the platforming being bad. Just nothing but scrubs all around. 
scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom, data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. And a huge fucking nerd. Proceeding with user instruction. Oh man. R button to shoot water from my cave. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use yep. the Yeah, I already know about this. Press the X button. Your voice may be real silly, Flood, but at least you like your core gameplay function is not at all gimmicky in the slightest. Like, there's, like, between all the different nozzles that you get for Flood, I have always appreciated just the, just the weird shenanigans you can get up to with this game. Like, people call it a gimmick because they, they think it's just so out of place and, and, like, and, like, has nothing to do with, like, Mario's core move uh, move set, which apparently is what most people care about, especially in regards to like, you know, Mario 64 only had that. But then you look all the way to the far future, and you know that like Cappy is essentially something that is like not at all originally part of Mario's core move sets, but people are totally fine with it, even though the the majority of that uh, of that Cap's function is to like possess other creatures with their own like move sets and mechanics. But whatever, I get it. I, I like God to see a hell of a lot. It's a really good game. It's like top three for 3D Mario games for me. All right. Yeah, still... Still easy. It's even funny thinking about it, how it's like... On top of the other, like, weird, like, idiosyncrasies of, like, that this game has that were emblematic of, like... Of, like, certain standards for options, I guess we'll call them, just not being present yet by 2002. Like, the non-skippable uh, skippable cutscenes... I'd say is a big one, but then the other that comes to mind, obviously, would be, like, like, when you're doing the over-the-shoulder aiming, or just any, uh, aiming with Flood, where you hold down the trigger entirely and whatnot, it's, like, it's inverted. I, like, I don't know if it's because of the amount of time I spent playing this game growing up or what, but it really does, like, it somehow just does not bother me, whether it's in the, in the over-the-shoulder cam or not, that pulling back on the control on the analog stick to aim up with Flood just seems fine. If I, I think the only control thing that like weirdly throws me off is just the uh, is like just the regular horizontal camera movement because it's inverted. Like you push the uh, the C stick right, it rotates it to the left. You know. And I'm not even that usually picky. Like, I, I'm, like, like, for that kind of, like, camera movement control, I'm usually, I'm usually fine with whether it's, like, normal or inverted in that regard. It, it typically just depends on, like, the type of game it is where that's the case. And, f I don't know, just for whatever reason, my brain decided on that, like, inverted X-axis camera for Mario Sunshine feels wrong. But I put up with it, I guess. Still, honestly, kind of a better camera than Lakitu was in Mario 64. Although it had some pretty great, like... I did, appre I did appreciate, like, the changing of different camera modes between Lakitu view and Mario view. The latter being very good for, like, keeping things positioned behind your back, uh, like, at almost all times. Like, that's good. That was very helpful when I was trying to deal with, like, some tricky, like, maneuvering uh, across, like, narrow, uh, like, narrow pathways and, and the like. You witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. 
shines bites are the source of power on Isle Vecino. Yep. Just thinking of what other stuff to talk about that is more interesting than, like, the descriptions that, like, Flood is giving during this whole opening story section. Oh, man. Really cannot stress uh, enough, like, especially if people, like, are, like, watching this, especially after having gone through, like, the VODs of me playing through Mario 64... And how I just completely blasted through that game 100% in three in three days straight, like of two hours a piece, roughly. Although the last one, the last session was two and a half technically, but that's just because I got really close. But it's the sort of thing that reminds you, like even though there are other games uh, in the 3D Mario series past this that I like just as much, if not like more so than Mario 64. Yeah, that that 64 games got an immediacy to everything that is like no wonder it is still like such a classic for so many people and is like you know a game that sticks with people for so many reasons whether it's like just casually playing it or like routinely doing 120 star runs or doing speed runs and so on This, meanwhile, is like, yeah, this was the start of them trying to find ways to, like, measure and pace out the op uh, opening and other sections in a way that it's, you know, that it's slower. You can't force it to go any faster after the fact, which is a shame. All right. Let's clear this out. All right. Okay, just do this again. That's it. And also, like for anyone watching who is still like having a double take, I or like maybe in disbelief of what I am. Uh, of where I'm putting my foot down on this. Yes, that stream title is accurate. I am planning to do 120 sh uh, Shine Sprite run of this game. Go for 100% completion. I've only done it on this game once before. As opposed to the twice on both Galaxy games. And the... The countless amount of times I've done it on Mario 64. I'm not kidding when I say that, like, I can barely remember, like, uh, like, how many times I've done X or whatever in Mario 64. <laughs> but it's the sort of thing where, like, yeah, everyone normally... Like, the, like the thing that's especially uh, tricky for people uh, that might think, yeah, I want to, like, do, like, a 120 star... Uh, or shine sprite run of this game is that they go into it with like a clear sense of being unprepared for it you know they're not ready to like do what it takes to keep track of all the blue coins that you gotta collect in each of the levels or like the or like plan out and formulate strategies regarding like some of the secret levels because even by my own admission as someone who likes this game more than a lot of others they those levels can be right bastards <laughs> But it's like, the idea of ever doing like a 100% run of a game like Mario Sunshine. The idea that it would, uh, that people would uh, say that that's like, so abhorrently like, terrible to, uh, to deal with. I'm like, my dude, either you never experienced or you are forgetting the drudgery that is some rare uh, games. Cue everyone at home going, yeah, no shit, Donkey Kong 64 is worse than this game. But then they'd probably try and say that that's, like, not much of a uh, of, of a gap in quality, to which I go, uh, to which I say even more, uh, bull fucking shit. None of the Kongs in that game play as well as Mario does in this. 
And I'm not even talking about, like, the flood-specific uh, specific stuff. I'm even, like, just thinking about it from the perspective of Mario's, like, got some, like, good specific shit regarding, like, core movement and momentum. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it from down here. This is fine. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, this is a good angle. Totally fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's... I feel like trying to go for the 100% route of this game is going to take a bit, a few more streams to get through compared to uh, compared to Mario 64, but it's not going to be arduous. I've got I've got plans. There are there are literal like m map images on the internet out there that you can look up that just give you like a bird's eye view of each level and like mark where all the blue coins are anyway. So when it comes time for when I'm, like, on, like, the last, uh, couple episodes or whatever of each level, I can, like, set aside time to just mop up all 30 blue coins for that level and cash them in. Yeah, I know that. You don't... You don't need to remind me. I'm not talking to you, Toads, ever again. You guys don't even give me anything of value this time. A few of you guys at the, at the castle used to give me stars. Now you just give me jack all. Just give me tips about things that I already know how to do in this. Okay. It just... It is forever charming and amusing with this game, how it's like... They took the the idea behind like that uh, dive that you can do in Mario 64, and they were like, you know what would be really cool if you could do it infinitely. And uh, and just the the fact that you could just like keep uh, like that speed going. With like the infinite dives, and the and the noise that Mario makes, it's almost like he is just turning into a dog of some kind. <laughs> Especially when you remember that this is a Japanese game, and you could easily mishear like what he's saying as like the Japanese like sound for a dog barking. <laughs> okay. Let's not miss time any jumps going around here. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah. Camera's still gonna be kind of an asshole in this game. <laughs> Because even in areas like you saw where it's like the camera's trying to like lock itself to something that's like a rail to give you the optimal angle like say when you're going or like around like the perimeter of that windmill. It does like to deactivate anytime you activate the hover nozzle because it's it's assuming that you're in a position where you want full manual control and it gets a bit disorienting having to having to adjust it and so on, you know? Okay. But I'll be curious, though, to see, like... How many Shine Sprites I get, like, in a in a two-hour session... For, uh, for this game, like, starting out. Compared to, like, when I f uh, started, like, the first session of Mario 64. Like, that game, like, when I finished the first stream of it... That was, like, sub-two hours, I think it was... I had 37 stars. It's pro I'm probably not going to get to, like, that exact amount, even if I'm, like, doing everything I can to, like, blitz through, like, the first seven shine sprites of, like, each world. 
since that's like the minimum requirement for like accessing the final level. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere in like the 20 range. Getting into like the 30s would probably be lucky. I mean, after all, like the biggest, uh, you know, time sink so far has just been the entire opening section. You know, when you land on the on the airstrip, and then all the cutscenes that come out after that. But at least the plus side with this is that, like, I don't think I'm even going to need to, like, start whipping out any of, like, the, the blue coin maps or, uh, or re-watching videos of, um, like, re-watching videos of the fucking, uh, really hard, like, secret levels that you have to, that you have to get to. Or some of the trickier, uh, like, the uh, shines in the later levels, you know? Because surprise, surprise, a game that I have not played nearly as much as Mario 64 means I am not nearly as familiar with all the ins and outs of, like, of, like, how to do everything. But it's fine. It's still a 3D Mario game. And it is, you know, the epitome of joy. Even more so compared to, like, plenty of other uh, 3D platformers from, like, this era that I liked. And admittedly, even at the time, I found myself, like, more excited to play those than I was Sunshine. Like, like I, I, will, I will not front. I am, on the, I am on the side of people who are, like, uh... Uh, hold on, let's see if I can do this. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is the best part about Flood. This is what people who, like, deride this thing as a mechanic in the game and, like, call it a gimmick compared to every other, like, quote-unquote gimmick that 3D Mario games have had after. It's like, like, they do not understand the joy of, like, taking advantage of of, like, floods uses in certain situations to give yourself, like, crazy distance and momentum. It is beautiful. Oof. Oh, fuck. Well, that was embarrassing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Fucking god damn it. Might as well. Okay, that's good, actually. Now let's just take things nice and easy. Okay, come on, get on. There we go. Always, always be looking at your shadow. <laughs> Man, when you're, like, a young kid in elementary school and playing this for the first time, it's like, boy, when you don't have, like, the, uh, the dexterity or, like, the, the brain power to kind of, like, properly process how to go in between those blocks, it's... Oof! Oof! Oh, fucking goddammit! it! <laughs> yeah, sometimes it can be hard to, like, properly process in this game how to, like do some platforming challenges when you don't have the benefit of Flood. But either way, it's like, you know, I'm just gonna shut up. Because I need to not make any more, like, tragic mistakes. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, let's not... Oof! Got it, yeah. Yeah, that really should not have had the amount of deaths that I ended up 
accruing there. Because I'm streaming this game and, like, forcing myself to, like, verbalize all of my thoughts into the void. And thus I have to do that at the expense of me looking like an idiot when I screw up. But those sections are always fun, though. It's just, yeah, it, it kind of goes back a, a lot to, like, the, the core idea where it's like, at the time this came out, like, I won't front. I was definitely, like, initially in the camp that, like, before everyone memed the hell out of this whole, like, uh, viewpoint, it was more like a case of disappointment with this coming off of Mario 64. And I, and, and even then, it was like, this was before I even got 120 stars in Mario 64. It was before I was able to, like, pull off that accomplishment for my, uh, for myself. It was just the sort of thing where it was like, like, yeah, I was, uh, I wasn't able to, like, get all the stars in Mario 64, but I was at least able to beat Bowser even back then, at the very end. I was able to get the 70, like, minimum. But this, meanwhile, was like, I never beat it back then. Because it was, like... It was, uh, like, unlike the clearly communicated, like, goals and expectations that Mario 64 had, where it was, like, you just need, like, a hard numerical amount of stars. Here, it was a lot more vague until you eventually realize that, oh, what it's looking for is that you need to beat, uh, to get, like, the seven, uh, shines in all of, like, the main levels, you know? You gotta get them all in, uh... Oof, that was close. Like, yeah, you, like, you gotta get them all so that you can, like, trigger the final, like, one of the l late major events in Delfino Plaza that, uh, lets you access the final level. Like, I didn't know that, because I ended up getting stuck for a while just, like, endlessly chasing blue coins and not knowing where they were and secret shines and, and whatnot. Like, it's st it was still fun, but I definitely felt like I was somewhat missing something during that time and when I was starting to see like the other 3D platformers that were out on PS2 or coming out on PS2 at the time you know like the Jack and Daxter games Ratchet and Clank Sly Cooper was one that like I definitely like noticed in a big way like like there came a time where my GameCube got stolen at the start of 2004, like someone broke into our uh, in the into the home that we were living in at the time, and rather than uh, like having uh, and rather than my parents simply like uh, buying me like another GameCube to replace the that that was stolen because you know the games as well were stolen, I was like, you know, I want to see what this PS2 is all about. It's got like other platformers to it. It's got like more platformers that look about as good as Mario Sunshine, and you know what? After having played those. In the intervening years, even after going back to this, I'd say a good amount of them are still, like, at their best, are still at about the same level as Sunshine, if not slightly more so. Alright. But yeah, well, but as I started playing this game more and more, like getting into, like, high school and beyond. It was, like, I finally... Because I had it in my head that, yeah, I could just look up walkthroughs, and especially with YouTube, just having people upload videos of, like, how to, like, get some of these shines. Like, that was uh, basically how I finally was able to... get 100%, and, like, better appreciate some of, like, the qualities of this game. Like, for instance, um, you know, that secret... Uh, you know, that floodless level that we were in. You know, I remember hating those as a kid. Because when you're a dumb kid who's, like, not that especially good at video games, you're like, yeah, you know what, I, uh, like, I appreciate having Flood because this hover nozzle makes for, like, a good crutch for, like, getting around uh, and actually landing on my platforms with more accuracy. But then as things went on and, like, you know, continuing to dig deep in, or into this game, and simultaneously Mario 64 was like, uh, no, actually, you know what? Core movement of Mario Sunshine, even without Flood, still fucking great. Like, that, like it very quickly became, like, the inverse 
where the floodless levels in this game ended up being my actual favorites. <laughs> Just the difference in perspective that comes with age is always funny to see when you're going through like a when uh, when you're really into video games because of just how it's a very you know it is a very active medium and as such it is like active in a way where like it's skill based. Okay, but let's work our way over here. Ow. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Ow. Okay, hold me. Ah, damn it. Ah. There we go! Ow, fucker. Get. Yeah, I better not lose all of my water by the time I uh, get to the top here. Nah, okay, I'm good. I'm just close to empty is the problem. <laughs> <coughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Speaking of water, I'm gonna... Get a drink on my end. <clears throat> That's better. All right. We're good. Mm. Okay, come on. Where are you where are you landing? Or hovering rather. There you are. Got it. Okay. Oh fuck. I thought you were gonna change direction, you asshole. Yeah, this is definitely a, a fight that can Go quite a long while when you're not ready for it. Okay. That's fine. Just don't... Just don't change direction for where you're facing. Oh, god damn it. He's gonna do this instead. Got him. Okay, that's one. I think, yeah, I'm actually gonna do this. Okay. Where is he? Oh, wait, no, he's over the river now. Shit. Okay. Yeah, so many just fun things you could do with Flood. Like, even, like, the... Yeah, like, uh, like that you saw. Like, oh, you press, like, the, you know, the trigger to shoot water in just the right way. It's like, you end up getting, like, a wide, like, shotgun-style burst. As opposed to... Yeah. Or stuff like that, you know, where it's like you hold and like jump. It's like a really good way when you remember to do it just to like like clear out uh, just like clear out a whole lot of uh, uh, okay, I'm just kind of I'm losing my train of thought, mostly just because I'm trying to also focus on getting this fight out of the way. <laughs> There we go. And 
And that's number five down. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a very quick, like, full depress of the of the right trigger, followed by A immediately. And then you just get that burst spread that feels really good to, to use if you're just trying to, like, get through, like, a huge, like, section of sludge. Man, I really am just sticking to, like, the same strategies I, I have done with this game in recent years that is similar with, like, Mario 64 and all the other 3D uh, Marios where it's like, can I clear out everything or almost everything in a world the instant I get there? If so, I am going to do that first before I even proceed to, like, the next thing that's unlocked. <laughs> like, like, you can't stop me. Now, there's also a couple ways that we can go about getting to the uh, the other side of this lake. Which obviously includes... This. This is another thing I recall always seeing people kind of curse back in the day. And to be fair, so did I. Back then. But... I don't know. I think, weirdly enough, playing, like, the classic RE games with, like, the different cameras and tank controls actually helped me with, like, you know, doing what I'm doing right now with, like, the manual aiming while standing in place. Like, it's, uh... Like, after a while of, like, getting used to that and understanding the logic, you can kind of adapt to the idea that, like, oh, yeah, even if I'm, like, not facing forward relative to me facing the screen, I can still, like, press left and right to adjust the aim, like, relative to my character's facing direction completely fine. Alright. Now, this is definitely something of a... Yeah, this is, this is, like, at least near the end, this is gonna be another one of those, uh, floodless levels where it's like, I'm gonna have to do everything I can to tell myself to shut up and focus. Because you saw that bit with, like, the... With, like, the... Oof! The, uh, the red and blue platforms, like, alternating between flipping and whatnot, like... Yeah, I'm gonna need, like, I'm gonna have to be doing that for, like, a whole lot longer. <laughs> a whole lot longer than, uh, than that section was. That's, uh, and, and that makes it nerve-wracking. <laughs> but hey, at least I got, I got seven lives, you know, I picked up two one-ups over the course of this. Oof. Okay, I think this is fine. Got it! No deaths this time! Alright. Mm. That feels very good. No, then. You know, I'll go back in one more time. And that's specifically for the purpose of... Like... I'm gonna say for this first, like, pass of each of these worlds, I'm just gonna focus on doing what would be considered part of, like, the bare minimum. You know? Which is, get, like, the seven main shine sprites. 
with the seventh one in all of these worlds being you have to find uh, have to chase down Shadow Mario. Oof. Ah, accidentally got the backflip though. <laughs> Yeah, but it makes for like a, at the very least with like these type of, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that, that water burst is so, is so good as, as far as like getting around the issue of fine aiming while running and like making sure that these chases do not go on for too long. Okay, but let's also do this just for the, for the heck of it. Yeah, you could totally glitch out the camera angles. <laughs> Because these are like the only shine sprites, as far as I recall, where it's like, the way they spawn in is they, they always go down to ground level where Shadow Mario is lying. It's different than all the other shine sprites where they always are like, above the ground in a way that you have to jump up to catch them. <laughs> like, I, I remember discovering that even as a kid and like, being very amused <laughs> that you could do that. But that's enough for, uh, Bianco Hill. Let's get to the next world. Okay. I do love these fucking things, like, just falling. It's pretty great. Like, their pathfinding and is actually so shit that they just, like... Fall off the pier and into the water. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is the start of the ones where it's like you have you, know, you have to like do a second round of of this nonsense. Asshole. Okay. Cutscene immunity, bitch. All right. So yeah, we'll uh, the first part of this whole stream playthrough is just to be focused on doing what's part of the minimum, and then once that's done and we beat Bowser and basically unlock, like, like the like the final final like special area of the game, which is spoiler alert, it's the Delfino airstrip. You could go back there and get an extra shine. Two shines, actually. One is a hundred coin one. Okay. Come on. Get up there. There we go. Oh, man, I didn't... Thought I could reach up there that way, but not quite. I, f I forgot exactly what all I need to do as far as... Because there it, there really is, like, multiple ways you could go about, like... You know, like, getting over to that section, you know, like, where the, like, the fountain is. And I think I remember, actually, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to do, like, the, the flip jump. Yeah, this was always my preferred way of getting across. Because, like, the long way would be just you following the arrows, which, you know, that works well enough. It gets you introduced to some of the other parts of the level you'll go to for for later shrine, uh, for shines, but uh, that was always fast for me. Anyway, time to cause bodily harm to this, uh, to this blooper. Like, of all the tactics for, like, dealing with, like, uh, these type of bosses in, in a 3D Mario game. It always felt, like, super fucked what you were doing to this thing. You're ripping its tentacles off. It's a literal delimbing. Like, how is any of this okay? Oh, 
Oh, man. Okay. Got it. And then, of course, like, not only do you have to end up doing, like, a second round uh, of this in this very same fight, but you fight him again, much like Petey Piranha for a later shine, and you fight him again in a later stage. They just, like, reuse this boss concept to make you abuse the poor fucking thing. Ow. Ow, you asshole. Okay. Hit det uh, detection does feel like it's uh, a bit wonky. As far uh, as far as like whether it checks that you're gonna be able to like grab it. I mean, like it's mostly correct. It just gets a bit weird when you combine it with the, uh, you know, flattening them so that they stay in place. Yeah, like this, see? Ah. Like, that looked correct. But that time it was. Ah, but who cares, really? It's not that hard of a boss. Alright. Hate to do this to you, bud. Oh, man. This game's weird. <laughs> Like, that's the important thing. So many people meme up the idea that this is a bad 3D Mario, when really the worst you could say about it isn't that it's the bad one, it's the weird one. Like, they were, like... Fucking people at Nintendo were having some very strange ideas as far as, like, how to push, like, the Mario series forward as, like, a uh, with, like, a follow-up to, uh, to Mario 64. And I guess their idea was, like... Hey, you know what you know would be like a first for Mario? Being put on trial and having to do public service in order to in order to pay off your sentence. Man. Okay. Oh god, blooper surfing. Yeah. Alright. All right, let's do this shit. I'll admit, like, a, this is unfortunately it's one of these things that I feel I should have, like, done some research on beforehand to make sure I could, like, remember what to do. Because I want to say off the top of my head that there are, like, slight stat differences between, like, these three colored bloopers. But I always fucking forget, man. Waves all liability for accidents. So, yeah, you can't... You can't charge him for, like, those one-ups you lose. Okay, come on. And yes, I see a blue coin up there, but I am not touching it because I want to get those all in one swoop when, like, I know I can easily keep track of it. Okay, let's go. Oh, no! Oh, you bastard. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, just, uh... It feels so wrong that, like, your acceleration just dies. When you, uh... When you jump with a blooper, but I mean, whatever, at least I still got it within, like, a decent amount of time. I know that there's, like, a second shine you can get by going to this later. Uh, where, like, you're expected to do it in a faster time, and if you can pull that off, you get another, uh, shine sprite. You know, and just, man. And then I just started thinking again about the weird implications of how... 
These these motherfucking Piantas are actually holding on to Shine Sprites. Why aren't they just giving them to me right now, considering that, like, they state as part of the lore that they are important for the island? <laughs> yeah, no wonder Miyamoto was like, you know what? Fuck story. Like, fuck any in-depth story in these games. <laughs> Like, it's no wonder that the whole, like, Rosalina, like, storybook stuff from Galaxy 1 had to be, had to be straight up snuck in by one of the developers at EAD Tokyo. And then, of course, once he found it afterwards, he was like, dude, seriously, no more of this shit. Let's just focus on, like, just Mario gameplay. And, you know, that's honestly for the better, because Galaxy 2 is a better game. Okay. <sighs> That's it, though. Like, going back to other things for the time being. I'm looking forward to, uh, like, once I'm done with, like, my two hours or so of this. You know, seeing, like, how much progress I, I make. Because... Like, the, the stream itself was a little bit late getting started. And the reason for that was because, like, getting home from work, I saw I had not one, but two packages that had arrived for me. Woof. Oh, fuck. And, like, those packages in particular... Oh, hold on, hold on. They were, uh, the PS2 I ordered as a replacement... For, uh, for the one that had died on me, like, almost two weeks ago at this point. It was a very, very tough, tumultuous time for me. And I am not even, like, exaggerating for, like, humor when I say that. Like, I was damn near distraught that that PS2 that had, like, served me as long and as well as it did for me just, like, croaked. Like, power supply just stopped working for me. Ooh, hey, look at that. I didn't even premeditate that particular route that I took and like avoiding like the gusts of wind and whatever. Like, no, that was just improvised and I did it because this game's platforming is that good and y'all idiots are just not that like good at like knowing how to like process like proper jump timings and distance and perspective and whatnot. And nah, actually that's being a bit too mean. I understand it might be a bit difficult starting out. But seriously, though, no nothing upsets me more than having to deal with, like... When, like, there's criticisms for a game that very clearly comes off as someone, like, trying to, like, blame the game for, like, their own shortcomings. Like, this is, like, this game is, like, legit some of the best Mario has felt in terms of, like, core 3D platforming feel. Like, I like, it, like, as much as I like the Galaxy games more, it's really only because, like, the rest of the packages are, uh, about them are, like, so well done. But, like, the core movement feel was, like, a legitimate downgrade from this. Like, even though that they made, like, better levels in those games, or they had those games actually running at 60 FPS, which this game does not. Because, man... Just one of those things, forever in hindsight, that just feels the most like they really should have tried to stick uh, to go for that. I kind of get possibly why they didn't, because I mean, the part that makes it sting the most is that like if you're able to dig up like old like pre-release footage of Mario's of Mario Sunshine. You know, stuff from, like, old, like, E3 trailers or Space World builds and the like. Like, you'll find that, uh, that those were things that, uh, that were actually recorded at 60 FPS. Like, that, like, that was the, that was the internal frame rate the game was running at. The problem ended up being later that, like, they cut it down to 30 because water is a big deal with this game. 
and they were, I guess, wanting to, like, push that aspect along with other post-processing and visual effects for this game hard. But, I don't know. It would have been nice if they had pushed that, but also had given themselves more time to, like, properly optimize it so that it would run at 60 FPS. Because so many games from this time, like, like, the amount of games from this particular generation and that were actually designed to run natively at 60 frames per second, like, actually take full advantage of, like, the refresh rates of CRT TVs at the time was, like... For 3D games, that was a that was a big deal. Like that was something that was lost going to the 360 and PS3, and it was still kind of lost for like PS4, or Xbox One. It only took until like a lot of these like cross-gen games for like PS5 and whatever, and like the different SKUs with like an emphasis on you know performance modes and the like that people were like, no, we can actually. We can actually satisfy both sides of this equation and get back to something resembling the PS2 days when you could have a game that is able to look good. You know, not the absolute best possible, but still look good that and run it at a, at a high smooth frame rate. Like, that's good. It would have been nice if this game could have joined those ranks back uh, back in the day. But I guess it's whatever, because once they got to the Wii and started making the Galaxy games and all that, they finally were like, Yeah, no, 60 FPS is a hard requirement for this now. Good on them. I forget, is there anything else to give me from these, uh, nails? No, just coins. Thought it would be another one-up. Okay. But yeah, my, uh, my replacement PS2 did arrive tonight. And additionally, thanks to a mutual of mine who just happened to have this in his garage for decades and didn't really end up using it much, if at all, uh, I got a, a twin stick controller for the Sega Dreamcast. Free of charge. So, that's another thing I have uh, to look forward to. Actually being able to play Virtual On for real. For real. And get good with that. Because, man, it's like the... You would think it would be kind of a moot point with, like, today's controllers having, like, the analog sticks. Until you remember that. Oh, yeah. Th no. Like, those sticks are analog. The stick, The twin sticks are digital. It's like... Like, the more apt comparison for those would be, like, if you were to take, like, the ball top st uh, sticks, uh, joysticks from, like, uh, from an arcade stick. And just, like, have one in each hand and move those. It's basically that. Like, it's got that digital clicky feel to it. So, yeah, I would much rather be playing those games now, like, with this thing. Hopefully it works when I plug it in. I think it should, considering that, like, it barely got any use. I mean, Box was, like, a little beat up, but that, I mean, that, that's expected. It's even the sort of thing where, like, because I, like, I keep, uh, teasing the idea that, like, I am gonna be, like, doing, like, a theme month of, like, videos based on, like, mecha games later this year, ideally in October, which I think is, like, the earliest I'll be able to have, like, the footage and, like, commentary all done and recorded for them. But I might be tempted even then to, like, still stream some, like, Oratario Tangram. Just to kind of show off the process of me, like, learning that shit. Because obviously, even though I know that's gonna be, like, the best, uh, controller to work with, Like, it's still gonna... It's still gonna have a bit of a learning curve, admittedly. It's an arcade game. It's gonna... It goes from 0 to 60, kind of no matter what the context. It expects you to, like... Either get with the program or just, like, fail endlessly and keep, like... Uh, keep using continues. But 
But that should be a fun time, especially because if it does work, then I'll use that as a reason to put money down on, like, a Dreamcast to USB adapter so I can use that on PC. And, like, you know, run emulated versions of, like, the arcade releases of other virtual on games, like the original. Maybe even give Force a try, I guess. I don't know. I have to imagine... Well, I don't know. I might be speaking a bit too soon. Because I know that it's, like, uh, one of the old, like, uh, long, uh, long-staying, uh, Dreamcast emulators, Demuel. It has, it has emulator functionality for, like, a whole lot of other, like, Sega arcade boards. Primarily Naomi. But I know there's, like, you know, th uh, the Hikaru board, which is what, uh, uh wh which is what Virtual on Force is is built on is the idea and also that there's like uh like the last arcade version of oratorio tangram actually that was released uh was post the dreamcast port and it, it was not uh built and at that point they ported the code base from model 3 to naomi so yeah that, that that's cool as well and that automatically like gives me, like, a better chance of being able to, like, record the arcade version of Oratorio Tangram if I just use the one that, that was designed for the Naomi board. Because, as I've gone on about before, the Model 3 emulator that's out there, it really does not like to cooperate with my PC in windowed mode. But I know that, like, Demuel has been able to run fine in Windows, and OBS can capture it just fine, so that's a good, uh, that's a good thing to show off. Okay. Two more, two more shines to get. On this side, and then we can take care of the lighthouse. I think I might... Oh god, oh god, the red coin challenge. Okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, because yeah, it's got a time switch. Fuck, okay. Yeah. It's cool, though. It's cool. I can, I can handle this. I can handle this. It's alright. Just, uh... Just keep yourself focused, dude. It's It's cool. It's only two minutes, no big deal. Run your ass out of there. Pick up the coins or you die. And maybe not hold up on the stick at all times, just so you can have an easier time turning. Oof. Actually, no, I'm not going to do the jump but uh, over the boats. I'm going to do it this way because, yeah, I'm angled just right that I won't immediately collide into this, into this shit. You know, Mario Sunshine is a good game, and I think some of the criticisms and frustrations people have with it is always overblown. But I'll be honest, making the game kill you if you collide while surfing on a blooper makes no sense. That is the one thing I totally wish could have been changed about the game. But it's whatever. What's done is done. This game is almost 20 years old. It came out late in 2002. Like, end of summer. Admittedly, we're not playing this during when the proper season would be summer, but that but it's whatever. Spring is close enough. It's nice out. Not like I know. I have blackout curtains because I want to keep the sun glare from bouncing off my desk. Ow! I completely overshot that. What the? Hold on. Oh my god. 
damn it. Yeah. Yeah, like, like that trick, you, uh, that path you saw. That, like, doing this particular, like, Shadow Mario, uh, chase is how I learned that optimal, like, uh, position to go- Mother f- mm. You are so dead. You are so dead, son of Bowser. And yes, of course, I'm spoiling that before anyone actually sees the moment where that's revealed. Who cares? Again, this game is two decades old, more or less. Give or take a few months. Yeah, that is so weird how he just, like, turned around to charge into me so that I would, like, get knocked off. Alright. Time for another glitched angle. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you bet I'm gonna be doing this repeatedly. <laughs> okay. Alright, bit better now. It's all good. Ah, oh, look at that. The sunlight is expanding. That's good. And Peach is still there, perfectly fine. Actually, hold on. Let me check. I don't think I'm... I don't think I have enough shines yet for this. Yeah. Yeah, I still need to wait a bit more until... I have more shine sprites on hand and I can just... Uh, get some... Uh, get a pair of shades. Though not... It's not as good of a, of a reward, in all honesty, as, uh, as post-game. Where you get both the sunglasses and an open bun Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Something that just looks absolutely tacky combined with Mario's traditional outfit. Whatever, it's it's great. It just adds more to like the weird charm that this game like makes for itself. Okay, come on. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Now then, third world. <sighs> I'm definitely going to be able to get the seven shines in this. I don't think I'll have enough time or energy to, like, get all seven shines in the world after this. But I know at least I'll do the first one because of the story significance it has. Yeah, so... Time to access the... Uh, secret, uh, the entrance to a secret, like, floodless level. Right there! Yeah. Oh, fuck, come on. No, 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 don't, don't! There we go. It's starting to droop to the side. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to, like, do anything to, like, keep, like, exerting myself to, like, stream more in the evenings than I'd like. Especially because I feel that... Oh, fuck. Yeah, just because, like, finishing in two hours, I think still leave, uh, leaves me with enough spare energy to, like, get any other extra stuff I would like to do done in the evening. 
which means, of course, you know, hooking up my Dreamcast again and giving the Twin Stick a whirl. And then, more importantly after that, uh, hooking up my PS2, getting the hard drive and memory cards transferred over to, like, the this new one, and making sure everything works as intended so that I can... Uh, so I can put my PS3 on the back burner for a little while as I hook up my uh, uh, HD Retrovision component cables to it, specifically so I can... Uh, start recording the PS2 games I was hoping to get to two weeks ago. Like, a week and a half ago, more specifically, until before the whole thing just died on me. I hope this thing lasts well. I mean, at the very least, externally, like, I'll... Like, the... The PS2 came in such a good condition, uh, like, on the exterior. Like, I, the, like the person that sent this not only, like, packed the box... Very well to make sure it wouldn't, like, get all banged up, but I want to say he, like, had to have, like, du uh, like dusted and cleaned, like, the the case. Because it definitely looks nicer than, like, how my PS2, my, my previous one looked after a point, you know? Okay. Time for this one. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> now we just gotta get up there. I definitely appreciated this particular gimmick of the level with, like, just the the little, like, dune buds that you could uh, spray and, like, uh, sand formations would show up. Nice! Two for one! Hell yeah! God, their voice is obnoxious. <laughs> but whatever. First one out of the way. <coughs> and you know, it would technically be the hardest one since it was three at once, but it's it's good. It's alright. It's good. Honestly, I almost feel like I got a bit lucky. With, like, the enemy placements there. Ow, oh, man. He regained balance. Alright, that's it. Last one to go. Oh, yeah, and there's the last one. And there we go. Oh, okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right. Definitely a weird looking uh wiggler. And then they dump the sh the fucking shine all the way out there. <sighs> All right. So that was Yeah, that was the second star. Yep. 
Episode 3, here it comes, boss fight with Wiggler. Yeah, this, uh... This dude's real pissed now. Definitely, I would say, not as big a fan of this compared to, like, his Mario 64 counterpart. <laughs> because, uh, you know, obviously, it's like, the whole gimmick here is that you gotta... Is that you gotta, f uh, spray one of these sand dunes so that they jut out and, like, the, rig uh, the Wiggler will run into it, tip over, and then you can ground pound on one of its segments. And of course, like, his path will change as a result of this. And I don't know if he's... He's gotta be coming back here eventually. No. Yeah, this is the part that makes it annoying, though. Look, you see what I mean? Oh, well. Oh, fuck. Oh! Somehow... Somehow that got him. Okay. I'm actually gonna go closer to, like, the... The middle of the beach. Oh, come on! That didn't count! Yeah, he, he's just going ape shit. Now look at that, just, like, going off the beach uh, into the slopes. Oh my god, this fucking thing. Okay, you know, I might uh, try waiting around here until he runs back. Got him! Alright. Run along his, uh, belly. Oh, wrong. Damn it. Oh my god, that was close. I completely misread which segment it was pointing to. <laughs> oh my. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's fine. You killed another abomination. <coughs> oh, man. Need another drink. Yeah, I don't need... <coughs> I don't need people... Like... Doing a hydrate... Uh, redeeming my chat or anything like that to get me to drink water. I do that automatically. It's a way of fucking life. Okay. The sand bird, right? This one. Kinda counts as like a secret level, but not like a floodless one. It's definitely one of those where it's like, once you go in there and you're trying to get through it properly, it's like you will, like if you die, if you die, you're gonna be sent back to the beginning of that uh, secret stage. Stuck there endlessly until you either get it right or you get a game over. Or you choose to manually quit out. I mean, the level by itself would be fine. It's just that the thing is, you got, uh, you got red coins in there. And that's like a key part of actually getting the, the shine sprite in there. Alright. Slide down the hill. And here we go. <coughs> and yeah, because this platform is still technically moving, it's like if you jump up, you will notice yourself getting uh, 
sent back a ways. Hold on, let's actually... Yeah. Yeah, I want to, uh... Get these. I'm not gonna get the blue coins still. I'll worry about that much, much later. Oof! Oof! Nope! No, 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 no. Please, let's just, uh... Oof! Okay, yeah. Still, you see what I mean, though, when I was talking about, like, how, like, the camera behaves when you activate the hover nozzle, like... Like, whatever rails it's trying to, like... Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck you! Oh, that... that sucked. Well... That's why I got the one up. That was that was the entire point of that. Yeah, see, it's just it zooms in and starts circling around to like my back. Like it kind of like it just ignores the concept of like the zoom in and zoom out that I have this all set to. There we go. Okay. <coughs> okay, just let's... Let's not fuck things up this time. I'll actually stay... Here. Yeah, just... Carefully move along the edges. Let's not use the hover nozzle. Let's just treat this like it's a floodless level. I mean, it's probably, like... Part of was probably intended as being one, or part of one, or, or this bird was... Oh, fucking again! <laughs> That's... Oof. This game is good, I swear. Okay. Let's get this. There it is. One up is back again. We can grab it. Keep ourselves stuck perpetually at like 10 lives. So that we will not get a game over. Let's try and... Do a better job of gauging when, uh, which side is, uh, is, like, okay to stand on. Like, this is fine now. Like, this is totally fine. <coughs> God damn. Yeah, between, like, the food I had and, like, the water trying to wash it down, it's definitely... It's definitely making my throat feel like it's a lot more coughing and raspy than it actually is. Because, again, like, I've been past... I've been over that cold that I've had, like, within, uh, like during the past two weeks. It's, it's fine. Come on, we're almost at the top. There it is. Thank... God, we can move on with our lives. <sighs> oh, jeez. That's 19. Still need three more. Yeah, kind of as I, as I predicted, it was most likely that this session will probably end with the amount of uh, shine sprites being in the, like the 20 to 30 range. Because we still need to finish this up. And I'll probably still end up doing... Yeah, you know, I'll still end up doing, like, the first shine... At, uh... At the next world after this. Maybe a couple more after, but I think that would almost... Be the end of it. Alright, now to race this jackass.
Okay. I know all my moves. I can... I can kick your ass at this. Yep. And of course, for like these uphills, it's good to uh, press both A and B so that you do like the like the the high jump dive, which helps with like those slopes. There we go. Twenty six point six six. Ever so slightly in esteem. Good to know, Dick. There we go, 20! We're one-sixth of the way done, guys, holy shit! <sighs> so, it'll be nice to be done with, like, this run of, uh... Gelato Beach, because I do like Peanut Park a lot. Like, I think the... Like, the Island Amusement Park makes for, like, a pretty good, uh... I mean, it makes for one of the better levels, I think. At, at least, like, theme and aesthetic-wise. Hey, dude. Yeah, I do. Yeah, thank... Thank you for knowing. Thank, uh, thank you for understanding who, exactly who I am. Okay, this might take a while though because I seem to at least recall with some of these like these uh Yeah, these uh these school of fish they move with the uh, red coin and it likes to you Like this is the the frustrating part Wait, what the? Okay, hold on. What? Something's going on with the... Uh... Oh, just... Okay, just something was, like, freaking out with, like, the... The encoding on my side. So there was probably, like, a stretch of the, uh... Of, of just, like, the frame rate on the stream looking really bad. Oh, well. It's fine. We'll just get back to this right now. Oh, fuck this asshole. No. Oh, fuck. At least it's not an instant kill. Of all the things they decided to change from Mario 64 to make some things more lethal than it should, they decided to make that particular type of fish non-lethal. It's just an annoyance if it gets you. <laughs> It only has the capacity to kill you if you're already low on oxygen when it, when it like just gobbles your head for a for a brief second. Yeah. Still, that felt real bad. Just like seeing the out of the corner of my eye, just a lot of like red colored numbers on the on the stream stats because the the encoding decided to just go on the frets. Come on. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't need to pause to see the total red coins I have. It just says it right there. Yeah, so I just need two more. There's one more. Thankfully, I think I got the hardest one out of the way, which was the one uh, red coin that was moving with like the school of fish. Because otherwise, these are generally designed to be hidden ex uh, specifically in the coral reef itself. Yep, there's the last one. Got it. And 
What the hell? Why is it doing this again? Yeah, I'm almost feeling tempted to, like, really, like, cut the stream short if possible. Just because it's, like... Yeah, I don't like... I don't like dealing with uh, having to... I don't like having to deal with, like, all, like, the missed, like, frames as a result of, like, rendering or encoding, getting, like, overloaded or whatever, because it's, like... I'm always uploading these VODs to my YouTube channel to have as, like, an extra archive for them. And unfortunately, but, and it's, like... When, when, it's on, when it's an issue that becomes encoded into, like, the source video file itself, that, like, becomes a real bummer. Because it's like, sorry, this is all that could be recovered. Ugh. I think it might actually be because I still have, like, a, like a browser window open that I think I had, like, links to, like, more resources for, for this game. Yeah, so probably I should just be, uh, avoiding that. Yeah, in fact, more specifically, because it's giving me this amount of trouble. There. I think I got rid of the the particular uh, tab that might have been causing that. Uh, again, this is all the more reason why I specifically try to uh, why I try to avoid having stuff like my web browser open when I have the stream going, because I don't want any extra unnecessary shit like bogging down my system as I'm trying to. Uh, Stream and record shit, you know? Oof. Okay, just focus already. I need to... Ow. God damn, what are you doing? Oh no, you are not... Trying to get up here, you bastard. I was not trying to collide into you. What the hell? Ugh. There we go. That was annoying. All right, fine. God damn it, it's still doing it. Fucking hell. This stream tonight, man. Sure would be nice if I had, like, I don't know, an actual beefy, proper, like, desktop PC. Instead of this fucking laptop, that was the only, like, major computer I could carry up with me when moving from Washington. I mean, I know, like, some, like, uh, PC parts, primarily GPUs, are starting to come back down to, like, normal, sane prices. But I'm... S but, like, I've obviously spent so much money on, like, other major stuff, especially with retro hardware... And like this upscaler, new capture card, etc. It's like I just gotta, I just gotta deal for a while. Maybe we'll see by the time like next year rolls around. Like I, like by then I'll probably be able to know for sure if I can, uh, like if I can get the parts for a decent PC. Because I'd like to keep having a powerful CPU, but I would also like to have a really good GPU, and I would really like to also have, for the love of fucking god, to like, more than 8 gigs of RAM at a time. Please. I miss... I miss, like, 
the days when, like, I could have a PC and just, like, easily get sticks of RAMs to, like, boost that shit up to, like, 16 gigabytes, no problem. And not have it, like, cost ridiculous amounts like DDR5 RAM seems to, seems to be these days. Like, I don't even know how viable it would be to, like, just stock up on a bunch of DDR3 RAM to con- But, like, fill the slots to, like, give you a shit ton of gigabytes of memory to, like, compensate for that. Like, I don't know how much that would break even. Jeez. That sucked. This straight up comboed me. All right. <coughs> um. Okay, so yeah, we're we're like about an hour and forty minutes in so far. Like, I want to say that I would have the energy to like get all of like the the seven shine sprites that I would want to get on this run of Peanut Park. But I think this late in. As well as, like, the fucking stream troubles I'm getting. I might just have to call it quits instead after this particular one since it's so plot important. Oh, well. The freaking frames missed due to rendering and encoding lag is just not stopping. Sorry about this for anyone that, like, is just gonna be, like, wanting to watch the, the rest of this later. Should hopefully be not a problem by the time, uh, like, Wednesday comes around. Anyway, time for a interesting boss fight. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, with the bullet bills, it is, like, so much more practical to, like, just angle, like, uh, a stream of water to hit them than to actually use the fucking, uh, like, the, what is it? Yeah, the, the rockets. The rockets are more practical when it comes to, I hate that. I hate how, like, the... Okay, let's... There we go. That's... Two. Oh god, I forgot the detail that, like, parts of his body just, like, disappear. That, like, his torso becomes extra squat-looking. <laughs> That's real amusing. But, oh god, I'm actually just remembering now, like, one of the, uh... Like, one of the the shine sprites that I think is after the one where you would, uh, beat Bowser, uh, eat, beat, uh, Shadow Mario. And it's the one that's on this stupid, like, uh... Yeah, like, it's on this roller coaster, but instead of fighting Mecha Bowser again, you have to, like, shoot at targets while automatically going, like, on a three-lap circuit. And it's, uh... N it's a nightmare. I won't front. There we go. Oh god, yeah, it's just... You keep shooting this thing and all that's left is its head... Like... Uh, like, on top of the pair of legs. <laughs> like, I completely forgot the detail of this thing that you fuck this robot up. God. Damn it, stop. Stop fucking up with, like, the encoding. Stop dropping the FPS. It's driving me mad. Ugh. I absolutely hate this right now. Christ. Yeah, yeah, I know. This... This cutscene. So 
Such bad voice acting and non-matching lip flaps. They really did not know what they were doing or wanted to do with these cutscenes. God damn it, Egad. <laughs> I mean, they would keep me locked up, but I'm technically doing this as part of my sentence. I'm, I'm stuck having to do community service instead of enjoying my fucking vacation. So you still accomplish something, you little runt. All right. No, not again. You said it. It appears to be heading toward Corona Mountain. Yeah, and that's a place where we are not going to for a long while. Especially because after we get this shine, uh, this stream is over. Like, I'm losing my mind too much just watching, like, the... Like, the stream encoding, like, shit itself near the end here. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. 23. That's not bad. We're just a little over a sixth of the way... Uh, through this game already, for our, for our goal purposes. It's all good. Which means... Which means possibly, at most, we will only have to do six streams of this total. Like... Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, with Saturdays being for other things entirely. Like, I know I'm bringing back Saturday Night Spike Out after a long hiatus, because I remembered that, you know, that I still had not shown off, like, the final four main playable characters of that game. So I want to uh, give them some time. And then, I guess, for future Saturdays, it might be more Spike Out, it might be something else. Who knows? Well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Everyone, all have a... You know, all have a good night and that shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mess around now with, like, my new twin stick and make sure that the... That the new PS2 is all in good working order. Take care.